Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to work on the hair, although I think the portions are a little bit off on the body and the head. So I might go into the outliner and change a bit of that. So go to window and outliner. And on the body, just click on the group you have it in and hit or for scale and just scale it down a little bit and then push it back up into the head like that and just realign Oops. get the left leg hit the group to move it, every part of it and just push that up and the arm just scale a little bit about there and for the head where are we now? I mean the yeah the parts in the head where they there we go with the two eyes just push them down a little bit there we go and the mouth just center that up and push it down and both eyebrows oops we just go into the move to settings settings and go to world and just change the axis and push them down a little bit there we go that might look like a little bit weird but once we start doing the hair it'll make more sense so click on the head and control d to duplicate it and that will make a new object double click on that and name it hair there we go now hit one to unsmooth it and then hit or to scale I'm going to scale up a little bit to about that size okay with that done if you right click and go to edge click on an edge in the center and hold control and right click edge ring utilities to edge ring and split there we go that's just going to do one side so for now, if you click on faces, go, go into side view mode or top and just scale over the whole back of it and delete all of those. There we go. Now with that done, if you want to go back to edge and edge ring and split from top to bottom. There we go. So click on all the edges I mean faces on the bottom half and just move them down until about the maybe about there yeah okay with that done if we just click on these faces and delete them there we go now for this to work I think for now I'd like to work in symmetry mode so if you go to the move tool and click on symmetry on the axis let's see there you go on symmetry object and the on the z-axis there we go perfect okay so if you grab the vertices at the back and we're just going to move some of them in With that done, if you grab all these faces here, well, just the bottom ones, and scale them in. 
like so. Okay. Now on the bottom half, I'm just gonna select the vertices again and just move these parts out. Just to create more of a curve in for the hair. When we smooth it out, it'll look a little bit nicer. Okay, with that done, if you go to your mesh tools, get the insert edge loop tool and just create a few loops here and here. Get the vertices selected, just loops. Um, I have to create edge loops on the other side too. Okay, now turn off symmetry mode. We're going to the move tool, go down to symmetry, hit off. And now select the vertices and just move them Okay, on the left side, I want the hair to be slightly higher than the right side. The right side is going to have a little bit of a fringe coming down over this side. So when you smooth it out, it'll look somewhat like that. Okay, so with that done, if I want, I can create a few more vertices to work with. So with the multi-cut tool, click down here, snap it into where you want, hit enter, and this will help me create more of a, oops, sorry about that. Um, Select vertices, create more of a curve. There we go. Now with that done, we are going to create the back of the hair. So in object mode, click on the hair Oops. I seem to have renamed the I seem to have renamed the wrong object. So this is the head. And this is the hair. Okay, with the hair selected, go to mesh, mirror geometry, click on the settings, and we're gonna mirror it back. So on minus Z, hit apply. And there we go, we have the same on the back that we do in the front. With the back now mirrored, if we, what we want is to have four extra bits at the back, strands of hair curling in. So we want to fill up this area. Now, the easiest way to do this is if we grab, or go back into out of smooth mode, hit, hit, hit number one, um, and then, hmm. So with the back now mirrored, we want to fill out this area and have four strands of hair curling in at the back. 
So if we go out of smooth mode, hit number one, and we want to just even it out a little bit. So if you just grab this vertex, pull it in. This isn't the most orthodox way to do this, but with that done, if we grab this edge here, shift, click on this edge here, go to edit mesh and hit bridge, and that should join those two. So do the same thing down here, hit G to repeat what you just done, hit G again, perfect. So if we just click here, grab all these edges, hit double, double click on it, go to mesh and fill hole. That way that will be filled up. Now, with that done, I want to create four strands of hair. So right click here, hit vertex, and just, just pull this part in. Like that. Then go to Mesh Tools, Multi Cut Tool. No, sorry. Might as well use the. Edge Loop Tool and just create three lines. Cool, with that done. Oops. Hit a W to exit out of that. With that done. If you just click the bottom here, and then we're going to go to Edit Mesh on Edge and Extrude, and just pull that down, like so. Hit Edge again on, oops, on the other side to create one more. Hit G to repeat, and just pull that down. Hit G here, and just pull that down. And hit G here and pull that down. Perfect. So go to insert edge loop tool again and create one, two, three, four. Four of these. Sorry, it's a bit hard to create these. I might just wait to move each one out of the way and then I'll create them. So, with that done, if you want to just click on a face. Oh, sorry, click on an edge, rather. On the bottom, just pull it in. like so, and to come into about there. And then just gradually Vertex seems to be a little bit up.
Okay, if we just have it somewhat like that. With that done, you select the bottom four faces, hit scale and just scale, oops, just scale it in. Work better on. Just like that. When we smooth it out later, it will look a little bit nicer because we're going to extrude in all of the faces to thicken up the hair. So repeat the same process on each of these panels. Okay, now with that part finished with, I'm just going to fix up this little bit of geometry here by getting the multi-cut tool and just joining, snapping it in to here. That should be right. I know I'm creating triangles here, but it's on a flat piece of surface, so it should not matter at all. On the top, I think when we extrude all the edges out, these components up here will not stick together because we mirrored the object. I'll show you what I mean now. If you go to, if I go to edit mesh and extrude the faces, you can see that they have split apart. So what I wanna do is I wanna join merge all the verts on the top of the head. So just select these ones here. I do not want to select these. I don't want to merge, oops. I don't want to merge these verts. So with those selected, go to mesh or edit mesh and merge components. Okay, that might have worked. Just test it out by going to edit mesh and extrude the faces. Yep, I think that worked. Okay, so I'll just backtrack there a second. If you select faces, scroll over every single face, go to edit mesh, and on under faces, hit extrude. Now, hit OR for scale, and we're gonna scale in Just, oops, hit one to go back to out of smooth mode. Just scale in a small bit. You might push back the edges. Okay. I'm going to go back to object mode and hit tree the smooth. Okay. So in the next tutorial, I am going to texture the girl using V-Ray for Maya. Okay, and I will see you then.